before we get to the trail itself, thought it might be helpful to have an overview here. So uh, just to, as a reference, got Las Vegas down here. From Las Vegas you come up Interstate 15 through a corner of Arizona and here you have the St. George, Washington, Utah area and uh, the red circle there is the Sand Hollow OHV area. Once you're in the St. George, Washington area, this is a map in Washington, Utah. So you go through town on Telegraph. There's a stoplight at 300 East. That's this road here. You go south on 300 East down to Washington Dam Road. You turn left on Washington Dam Road. If you go too far, you'll notice there's like two churches together. That means you've gone too far. But um, So then you go east on Washington Dam Road. It turns to dirt after a couple miles. And uh, just shortly after it turns to dirt, you see this little sort of dip or V in the road. Once you go around that V, you're in the Warner Valley area. That's a popular staging area. If you go down uh, or up the road a little further, and at this point Washington Dam Road actually turns to Pecan Road too, which is also accessible from uh, Hurricane uh, via Sand Hollow Road. Uh, but anyway, right there in about the middle of the picture below the golf course is another staging area that we often use for Slip Lock, Milt's Mile, other trails. In order to understand where John's trail gets started, you really kind of have to see a little bit about Slip Lock. So the light green line here that squiggles all over the place is Slip Lock. Lower Slip Lock up on top there. Then the transition over into the main section of Slip Lock uh, that goes south there. Then when it curls back to the north, that's a transition trail that goes actually clear over to this little peak over here. Uh, and then that's the beginning of Upper Slip Lock. In between on that transition trail you see a little spur off of there going south. That is the beginning of John's Trail. Okay this is a, a more close-up of the map I just showed you. In this case the pink or purple line is actually the Slip Lock Transition Trail and the green line is the beginning of John, John's Trail. So you see John's Trail starts out going kind of due south there goes along the rocks along the side of this hill, comes down to this southernmost point where there's an optional loop, then there's a short transition trail that goes to the northwest, and then you enter a narrow ravine, you follow that ravine to a rocky outcropping here on top, and that is the end of John's Trail. Okay, here we are at the beginning of John's Trail. You see the sign here? You can see the transition trail going off over here to the uh, upper part of Slip Lock. Eventually we're going to get up to that uh, big rock wall up there, but in between it's just a nice little, you know, 200 or so yard section here with just lots of little twisty climbs that uh, just really provide sort of a nice gatekeeper to the trail. And it's just sort of typical of John's trail. John's trail just uh, there's there's a few major obstacles, but a lot of what John's Trail consists of, it's just a lot of these uh, bumps and ledges that pro that uh, demand a lot of articulation. Uh, lockers are very helpful, and and it, this is kind of an interesting trail too because rather than running in the bottom of a ravine, John's Trail runs along the side of a rocky hill.
Okay, so uh, here's the normal path. We got through this little first section coming up the tight ravine. Now we're on the wall. The normal path is to uh, pick, pick a route up through here. Um, if you've got a long wheelbase and lockers, it is possible to do this steep climb. Uh, if you don't, then you can kind of see what happens here. It looks so easy. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try just crawling it. It might not do it, but I'll try it. So there's the uh, the top of the steep hill, the big climb that we went up a second ago. That's coming down the other side. Then we've uh, come up uh, the obstacle that you just saw on the other side of this. We're into this flat area here now. This is often a good place for a break. It's kind of a gnarly little buggy obstacle down there. And uh, the trail continues its hillside journey. Okay, uh, hopefully you can see these GPS coordinates. This is, um, we're now about to go on a little optional loop here on John's trail. So you can see it's got some nice obstacles here. It's a fun option, not recommended unless you're pretty well built. Some large tires and locking differentials. So if you don't go on the optional loop, you can see the trail just continues here and uh, in another 50 or 60 yards it joins up with this little optional loop. And uh, then the trail traverses across here, just a sand trail, down to this 
ravine where you can see sort of a, an intersection almost down here and there we'll go left up a, the, a ravine there and that will be the upper part of John's Trail. So we're almost done with the lower section of John's Trail here. It's actually a pretty short trail. Okay, here's the GPS coordinates for the top of John's Trail, the upper section, and here's what it looks like. And once you're here, this is a pretty tight ravine on John's Trail. I think as you saw from the first section too, once you're on it, it's pretty hard to get lost. And the same thing once you make your way over here to the upper section, it's pretty much impossible to get lost.
we're at the top of the last section of John's Trail now. So everybody comes up here. The typical way out is right over there on the other side, um, which is not terribly easy either. We chose to come out this way here, which you just saw the video, which is normally considered the hard line. And then there's a kind of a buggy out here too. So once we're out of John's trail here, um, you can just pick up the trail that either goes back down sort of the side of the ravine we're on, or you can go west over to West Rim Trail, lots of ways out. And of course you have this beautiful vantage point. And so you can pretty much see where you are and decide which way you want to go. So I hope you enjoyed John's trail.